Hello guys, you have reached New Day Restoration. My name is Danny Diaz. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, I hope by the end of this message, you will choose to subscribe and follow. And for my listeners that have been listening to me for a while who are unsubscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and just hit subscribe. <laughs> so you guys, I want to talk about something that is very important. I know a lot of you this will hit home for. Um, it's going to be a short video, but again, I think that it's going to resonate with many of you who are struggling in this area. So today we're going to talk about the devil being into the details. So we've all heard this saying, and I can sure assure you, he really is. Satan is conniving. He's the master con artist, and he's always calculated. And guess what? He has a whole army of willing and unknowing participants, his minions, your family and friends, your spouse, and those attached to your spouse. So here at New, Des New Day Restoration, uh, we have one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, we presently have four mentor, uh, mentees, excuse me, mentors, excuse me, I can't talk today. We have uh, four mentors. And one of the things that we all see um, amongst our clients is many of our clients are getting stuck on the details. And listen, I've been there, done that early on in my stand. You know, there's um, a lot of us who will check their social media, they're hacking into their e email accounts, checking bank or credit card statements, reaching out to friends or family members to pull information so you can later analyze the data and then come up with your own theories. You guys, we have to stop this. This is going to make you crazy and miserable. You're falling into the hands of the enemy and you are stepping on the toes of God and the process that he is trying to take you through. So I want to talk about how this hurts you and how it affects your stand. So number one, when you analyze, you only have a piece of the story. So this creates doubt in your mind and can set you back emotionally. It not only creates doubt, it can create disappointment, fear, anger, and confusion. These are all traits that come from the enemy. It's important that your faith is unwavering in this stand. So just say no. Colossians 3.2 says, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ and God. You guys, we cannot focus on what our natural eye sees. It will lie to us. We have to keep our focus on what God says. The promises that he has given us, we stand on. We have to allow him to guide us into all truth. So the answer is to focus on Yeshua. Number two, you are telling God you don't trust him. I keep saying, our faith and trust is predicated on how and when God moves for us. It's the nature of God. He works and moves according to our faith. He's trying to teach us how to trust him wholeheartedly. Your spouse or external factors are not a match for God. God works outside of time. He sees everything. Everything is already predestined. He already knows what's going to happen. So why would you seek things out and try to analyze and, you know, drive yourself crazy when we already can put our trust into our God who knows it all? who already knows how this will end and who wants us to partner with him so he can move swiftly. Number three, this pushes your spouse away further. So this behavior creates a seed of mistrust in your spouse. They see you as being manipulative and controlling. It also displays insecurity. Your spouse needs to see that your house is built on a rock and not sand. They need to see that you're unmoved because you completely put your full assurance and you're reliant on Yeshua. That's something that they don't have, but you have, and they need to see that. They need to see that you're unshakable. If you're struggling with this, I just want you to begin to pray and ask the Lord to help you because what this really comes down to is your trust, your faith in the Lord. So if this is something that's really convicting you in your heart, just let this be 
you know, God speaking through me. <laughs> he wants you to trust him. So begin to pray and ask him how and to, to lead you into trusting him more and having faith. We have to remember that faith is in the unseen. Just trust him today. All right, guys. God bless. Love you all.